Even all remarks here, back in another video, back again with another VR experience video. And today I've got a few things on. One of the things I thought I'd do is a little bit of an update about the arcade, what it's all doing. Just heard my kid shut the door because he doesn't like me talking. He can't hear his game playing. He's playing uh, Super Mario um, Odyssey on the Switch. Uh, but one few things I want to do today, obviously I'm, it's still early. We're about to set up, uh, about to open. Got a few people in today. Nice and early. Um, I think it's a little bit quieter than the day, but there's a few things I want to test. One thing is this. So this is a 360 camera called the Pilot One. Um, we'll go over in more detail what this is and why I've got it, but mainly I want to do 360 degree live streams from here. And this is one of the cameras that can do it without tethering it to a phone or anything. It just kind of works independently, or you can plug it into ethernet. So that's why I've got that. Um, that came yesterday. Uh, what else have I got to do? I've got to fix my, my pods. So you know my moving pods. One of them is playing up a little bit. So the company that makes it, I've got to dial in, fix it, that sort of thing. So I've got to do that. Uh, I've got to launch a special offer. So the special offer we're going to launch for August. So I've got to do that. I've got to do a little bit of Photoshop stuff and put that up for them, uh, for people and promote it. Um, and a bit of a busy day going on. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to crack on and get stuff going. One of the things I do need to look at as well today is I've actually ordered a new Rift S headset for this PC here. So this is one of our racers, racer number number four. Um, it's having that sort of HDMI, no, DisplayPort not connected issue and it over and over again. So I've reinstalled Oculus, I've done all the driver updates, I've checked the power settings, I've unplugged the headset. I've even tried some of the other headsets we've got. Now, it seems in the past we have had that before on booth number two over there. And it ended up being like replacing the entire headset and cable fixed it. So I've ordered new ones, so I'm gonna have to replace that, but I have just booted up just in case it works. Cause you know, you come in next day and I've ordered a new headset, spending you know, 400 quid for something I'd rather not spend 400 pound on. Um, and then it suddenly starts working. It's gonna be sod's law. So here we go. Here's kind of the software we use for managing the vibrations and the wind. So it's the sort of sim racing studio software. Uh, go away, firewall. So wind, wind, we're turning it off because we can't have wind blowing through the center and uh, somebody coughs while they're racing and, and then everyone's got it because <laughs> it's blowing the entire um, cough around. So here you go, here's the error I'm getting. Look, so look, so it says USB 3 connected, but the display port's not. So I can kind of unplug it from the PC, so back here. You sort of see I've got plenty of USBs, USB 3, uh, and this is the HDMI, uh, the display port even. So if I plug in the USB 3 into there, which is clearly USB 3, and the same on this PC, and the same on that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one, that one. So I know that it's USB 3 and it works, and it does. Um, and then the next thing is to plug in the display port, which is this one. And my graphics cards, we've got the 2070 Supers, and they've got three display ports. And eventually it'll go, ugh. So it goes, oh yeah, it's connected. Oh no, no, it's not. So I'm not sure what it is. I've unplugged it from the headset, plugged it in, plugged it back in, plugged it back in here, done all sorts of stuff. Um, we use the Kiwi pulleys here to kind of keep the cable out of people's faces. Um, I don't know, I'm stuck, so I'm gonna replace the whole thing. I do have just replacement cables, so I should have tried that first maybe, but I have ordered a new headset, so. I mean, to be fair, even if the headset's fine and there's nothing wrong with it, it's always good to have backup headsets because if somebody was to break one um, and we, we run out of headsets, then we have a station out of order. So at the moment, that station there is out of order. So it'd be good to get that one back up and running. Because um, when we opened, uh, and over Christmas, and all the headsets and stuff started going out of stock. And then uh, obviously COVID hit, and then all the headsets are out of stock even more. So you couldn't get any Rift S headsets or anything. So the good thing is the racking stock now, so I've grabbed a couple. So we keep them in stock just in case something goes wrong. It's an asset for the store anyway. And we can always use them on other things. We've got other PCs we can connect them to to do things with, so it's all good. Um, but there we go. So let's, we've got people coming in in a minute. So I'm gonna have to open the door to let people in. 
um, and get their session going and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Actually, here's a good thing to talk about before while we wait for the first customers to come in. It's face masks. God, what a nightmare, a face mask with the, with the beard. <laughs> I got a big ass beard. Every face mask just digs into the chin sort of thing because you know, you've got to create a seal. But also with a big beard, it's a bit of a nightmare. Um, so I've managed to kind of get this kind of custom sort of face mask off Etsy. Uh, I'll leave a link down below if you want to kind of go check it out. But uh, if it's quite well, it could do with like a little sort of flexible bit on the nose maybe. It can get very warm, but then I guess I've got a lot of facial hair as well. So that keeps all the heat in. Uh, but I can breathe in it. Um, it's obviously for customers kind of safety more than anything else. The way I kind of see it is, you know, I can't force them to wear a face mask, but um, with me being here and in contact with a lot of people, maybe, you know, I could be asymptomatic. You know, I'm not worried about myself or my family. I think they'll be okay, but that's not to say, you know, I couldn't pass it on to somebody else and it causes them trouble. So I'm going to do the right thing and keep my mask on. Um, hopefully customers will do the same sort of thing as well. But when you're doing VR, you can't keep a mask on. It's terrible. So we don't for enforce mask wearing at all when you're actually in VR. Because uh, what you find is like the, the, the air comes up through the, the nose bit at the top here. It just steams up the headset and it's just pointless. Um, so it makes it really hard. So, but spectators and that, because the laws changed in the UK today, the 24th, where they have to wear face masks inside shops. So that's kind of our policy a little bit. But yeah, this mask works quite well. I think it would be quite nice if it had like a little sort of elasticated bit at the back maybe. Uh, at the moment it's just like tied. Um, but it does fit quite well, fits quite well with a beard, obviously covers, stops me from kind of coughing on people or people coughing straight into my mouth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's gross, that's gross even without a pandemic. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my view on it sort of thing. So we do clean the place down a lot, we've got alcoholic wipes and we ozone the place each evening and um, just generally clean a lot and we don't let people in without sort of, like just some people came in just then, just wanted to look around, I was like, we can't really just look around. Um, because that's not how we do it now, but I kind of explained everything. They stayed behind my barrier by the front door, so it all works quite well. But yeah, if you want this face mask, I just need like a logo on it or something printed on it. And it, oh, I don't know, Remarcus? No, not for work, but VRXP or something like that. We'll see. Right, quick update. I'm making a bit of a mess here, but <laughs> you can see I'm uh, reinstalling Windows on the computer for that pod. So that pod's okay. I suppose that pod is running like a delayed time. So it's not always syncing up properly, so they get me to reinstall Windows. Now that was a flash. Trying to run a power cable and different HDMI, DMI, blah, 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 cables in there. So that's a bit of a flash. We do have some people doing VR. We do have some more people due in. Wow. Well, due in any moment now. In six minutes' time, they'll be late. So we'll see. But uh, catch up again in a second. So we've got a couple of people playing some VR at the moment, but I thought we'd. Uh, open this so this is the pilot one camera it's uh the smart ak360 camera with an open system so let's have a quick look shall we so let's make this a little bit more convenient let's uh, angle the camera down shall we so you can see what's going on right so here we go so excuse my hands as i am a suffer unfortunately with all the wipes and stuff and alcohol stuff destroying my hands but here we go so pilot one ak smart camera uh it's got pilot tour so it's meant to make it easy so you can do virtual tours stuff like that open system 8k live streaming which is pretty cool uh stabilization 8k photos and video uh street view connectivity as well so you can connect straight to street view to do sort of google map tours and stuff uh, and touch screen so it's one of those interesting cameras that's a bit of a hybrid between a phone and the camera itself. Uh, I'll be honest, I've already uh, opened this and had a little quick look. Uh, so it may have fingerprints all over it. But here you go. Here's kind of what the camera looks like. It's kind of, oh, well, kind of average size hands, I'd say. Uh, little things on each of the lenses. I have had a little go. I opened it up and had a little look around and see what it all did. Uh, well, I didn't take these little sticky things off, so I didn't take a proper photo with it yet. Um, full sort of uh, disclosure is I've bought this for... Oh, I've got really sticky thing. I've bought this for the arcade, um, so the arcade bought it. But Lab Pano did give me a little bit of a discount on the understanding that I'll do some videos on it. Oh, I can't grab this. So let's do some videos of kind of, you know, what it's like. Because the idea was, and I thought this was a good idea, is to have a 360 live stream of what's going on in the arcade when it's busy. So busier days when Saturday and that sort of thing. 
um, have this thing hooked up on the ceiling uh, live streaming so people can look around on Facebook or YouTube or something like that to sort of see what's all going on so as you can see it's sort of sprung to life already um, and it's got its own little sort of Android screen on it so it's like an Android phone but a 360 camera it's kind of cool it's got an audio jack on the bottom there sort of standard mount USB-C charging and data transfer uh, they did send me the network adapter as well so I can plug this into um, a Cat5, Cat6, whatever um, and live stream straight to the internet so that was one of the main reasons to get this is because I can do 8k live streaming uh, with just the device most of the ones you'll need to connect to a PC or connect to a phone tethered or something like that we're just making it more complicated so what I wanted to do is stick this up on the ceiling upside down as it were um, and then just have it you know live stream what's going on so when people are doing these sort of pod things or whatever or uh, gaming like over there they can have a little look around and see what it's about because that's, that's one of the biggest things with you guys people need to see it to understand it um, like even when we're doing like racing tournaments and stuff I can set this up and you can see all six players from there hear the chat have a little look around and everything else they were pretty cool but I'm going to stop there because somebody just walked in alright so I've just set up the Wi-Fi. get a little book of instructions you get a little pouch oh no is that a pouch oh no it's just a cloth there Keeping the lenses nice and clean. You don't want to smudge. Power adapter. That's an American one, but we did get given an um, adapter separately, actually. A nice, long, nice thick cable. USB A to C. A little adapter for the bottom. This is going to be useful. So you screw this in, and this distances the connections at the bottom. So you still plug in the power, you can still plug in the microphone, which is useful. Oh, here, here's a little pouch. Keep it up. That's got a cute little pouch in it. Can I, can I squeeze you in there? <laughs> so it is kind of pocketable. It's a bit of a weird shape for keeping it in your pocket. But it's got a little uh, carabiner on here. Keep it on your side. Uh, that'd work well. I like that. A little bit more protection needed for the lenses, maybe. But uh, for the most part, that's fine. So keep this protected and I think what I'm going to do is stick it up on the ceiling. So I'm going to do a quick live stream test. So if you're on my, probably to my Facebook, uh, I'll stream now a test and so I'll see how it looks and how it works and I'll get back to you and kind of let you know. Alright, getting on five o'clock, have a spare minute before a few more people come in. I have been a little bit crazy today and there's been a few moments where I could do something else here to help but no you know I soldier on I soldier on uh, pod update they've updated it they've re-uploaded it reinstalled windows set everything back up again supposedly if I run the different sort of roller coaster type things again a few times it'll create a cache of them and make it all work perfectly we shall see because when I started them the first time they didn't work the first time, even ones that did work before didn't. I suppose they need a cache, so I don't mind running it and just letting it sort of build up a cache of all the videos and stuff that are in there, that's fine. Update on the 360 degree camera here. I couldn't get it to stream successfully. At the moment, it's streaming to Facebook privately on my Facebook profile. It's here, so look, you can see me chatting away. Let's uh, mute that, otherwise you're going to have a weird reverb. So. Yeah, it doesn't look 4K, nowhere near does that look 4K. Um, it's set to 30 megabits per second, which should be enough to get a decent picture. That, well this says HD, if I change that to auto, does that make it any better? I mean these are connected to like 500 megabits per second sort of ethernet. So, and it's stuttery, it's meant to have FPS priority, just looks a bit bleh. So I'm not impressed, I couldn't do it via Wi-Fi, I had to use the USB-C um, adapter with the Ethernet, so I put the Ethernet on that PC, so and if that works, I can get it to work that's fine, I think ideally I want it streaming to our Facebook business page, so I'm going to have to see, I'm going to have to try. But the good thing is, you can see on here, I don't know if you can see on here, but you can see this streaming at 23 megabits per second, network is not good and will affect the quality of the live video. Which is, you know, it's it's networked into the PC, I don't know. Uh, from home, I was live streaming, just to quickly test last night, on my Wi-Fi, and it's better connection than here, so... I don't know, my Wi-Fi's just not as good as I think it is. 
Uh, we're still waiting for the replacement rift for that one. So that's still broken at the moment, which is fine. We've had people, we had four people racing earlier, you probably saw. I can't remember. Um, but there you go. I'll try and do three 360 live streams. When I next do them, I next put them up on the, um, on, either for the business or for myself, I'll let everyone know. So you can always zoom in. Zoom in? Join in. But uh, yeah, interesting. That's a, just a daily update, quick update. Uh, nothing really kind of achieved in this video. No nonsense, load of boring rubbish. <laughs> oh, I'm knackered. I'm always knackered after working here. Even if, even if it's quiet, I'm knackered. <sighs> right, okay, that's the today over with. Well, not today, me. I've got some more finishing off to do here. I'll wave that rift to come and replace that, see if that works. And then I'm going to be heading for home. We should at eight. If we don't have any pre bookings, which we don't after six, then I may go home. We will sort of see. So uh, let me know what you think about this video, this vloggy type of stuff. Whether you like the kind of ins and outs, joint reviews on these sort of things, let me know. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, that's fine. I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it. But do let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like it. I'll try to do better for next time. Become one of the remarkables. Hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified when I next upload a video. And that's me done. I'm out. Have a virtual high five.